Hello everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm coming to you a little bit early this week because today we are launching um, March's PDF pattern, which is the kimono, which is what I'm wearing. Here you can see, this is the long version. Um, as you can see, it's quite long, but you can chop it off at any point. So we've also got a, a line for a sort of shorter one, which was the original one, no poppy. Ah, she's scratching, sorry guys. Um, and But also, it's just straight line. You could also just come in a little bit in between them if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah, this is it. And it is just such a nice thing to be able to put on over a t-shirt. Um, so, whether that's or over like a plain top. And for me at the moment, it's amazing because I can wear it, make it for now and it will be fine now or later. But yeah, I really like kimonos. I just think they're so elegant and so pretty. And obviously they've got that sort of 1920s glamour. It is 1920s that they're from, I think. Um, and um, also it's, um, it's nice to show off like your drapey fabrics. So chiffon or um, georgette. Um, I think they look really pretty in those fabrics, but also um, sort of rayons and crepes. So this is a lovely rayon um, and we've got loads of lovely drapey fabrics in at the moment. So I'll make sure there's a link to the drapey fabrics, kimono fabrics in the comments. Um, but um, yeah, it's such an easy make. And if you're new to kind of making things with jer um, not jersey, with drapey fabrics, then this is a perfect make because it's so simple, it's just sort of straight lines really, so it's a good one to try it out with. And you could also do French seams for, um, if you're doing it in chiffon, you could have a stab at French seams. We do have a video on how to do a French seam and I'll make sure that's in the comments below. Poppy? No. Poppy's just climbed up on the table. No. <clears throat> Naughty. Um, but, um, and you can also make it out of jersey. So there is a stripy version um, that I made out of jersey, um, out of navy and white jersey, and that's really nice as well. It's kind of a bit more casual for the weekend. But yeah, really, really like this pattern. Really nice, easy one. Nice, quick make. And I think it's nice to have some of those makes um, um, patterns in your kind of collection, just like a quick run me up, something that's not gonna be too technical. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all of yours out there. So anyway, today I am here to show you my fabrics for March um, and I've got three with a backup one, so four fabrics, um, here they are in my new basket um, and um, yeah, I shall just start. So <clears throat> first one, I'm going to make a kimono, obviously I have to celebrate that that it's coming out and we've got this beautiful chiffon and I just absolutely love the colours. Um, so you can see it's like kind of very vintagey and it's got corals and pinks um, and yeah like quite punchy greens as well but it's just so yeah a lovely it is a it's kind of in between a chiffon and a Georgette because it's not quite as light as most chiffons but um, it definitely is transparent and it's kind of got a kind of cream background. So I think this will look really pretty with, um, yeah, maybe maybe like actually a light gray vest, something that's quite casual. And then with this, or with the pink, I could pick out one of the pinks. I don't think it's gonna work with white because the background is kind of that kind of creamy color. So I don't know if a white kind of top underneath would look right. But yeah, really like it, really pretty. Perfect for this. So we're gonna, we've got some of this. We haven't got masses of this, but we've got some of it. So um, you guys can get your hands on it. If you're thinking maybe a kimono too, that you'd like that. Also, this would be good. I don't know if it'd be good as a pussy bow blouse. I think it could work. Why I think this is so good for the kimono is because it's a big print. And I know this one isn't a big print, but I do think that the kimono works really well with large prints um, because it's very simple so it shows off the big print and the print and the, the rose is not going to be cut up so yeah it's a good one for that so that's my first fabric and of course I'm now into by the way guys I'm making things that I'm going to be able to 
wear after the pregnancy because I've got a lot of maternity clothes and I just don't want to make anything that I'm going to wear for another two months. Um, so I'm due early mid-May so um, there is no point in me making anything else now that I can't then wear later. So that's that. So I've got um, my next one is this lovely um, baby blue kind of rayon all about the roses it seems I'm just thinking it's a lot of florals this week um, so this is just a really lovely soft rayon for those of you who came to us at the knitting and stitching show this was one of the fabrics we had there and I kept quite a bit of it back because I knew that I'd want to make something for the vlog and then I wanted some to be able to for you guys to get hold of but it's got little grey roses um, leaves grey roses and then little kind of pinky ones as well and it's all kind of on a pale blue background so it's really pretty we've also got this in a different colorway with a pale pink background but i was like i'm making so many pink things i want to make something that's blue and i think this would go really well with um jeans i'm wearing jeans let's hold my jean up and let's see yes i think it will um, so what I'm going to do with this is make um, one of my wrap kind of nursing tops. So not the one that I made last month, but the one where it flaps open. I want to make one with short sleeves um, and I can actually wear that at the moment as well. Um, and then I thought because it will be summer um, soon, I want to make something that, yeah, with short sleeves so that I could wear it then. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And it's also nice for me to test the pattern with short sleeves, see if I like it. So... That is fabric number two. Um, okay, so next fabric is this one. Now, you may have remembered this, those of you that have been watching these vlogs for a while, although I might have put it on my Instagram, I can't remember. No, it was on my vlog. It was when I went to India um, and I bought some fabrics for me that I was thinking of making a cocoa jacket out of. Well, this one is one of them and I haven't done anything with it and it's absolutely gorgeous it's pink and gold embroidered and it kind of has a kind of quilty feel to it but it's just the embroidery um, and it's on a cotton silk base so it's got quite a bit of structure to it and I just think it would make an amazing cocoa jacket I can just see me wearing this with jeans um, and I think you know I will I'd wear this sort of to work but I'm not going to be working over the summer in, this, in the normal way I work, but I will um, I think I'd wear it out and about you know I just wear it at the weekends and stuff so I just yeah, I think it's just really unusual and I think it's perfect for the cocoa however it is made on the traditional Indian loom um, which is narrow I don't know if you can see but this is about a meter wide and I'm a bit worried that there's not going to be enough of it so I have bought stupidly bought a meter and a half I don't know why I didn't buy two meters but I only have a meter and a half and I don't know if that will be enough for the cocoa jacket but I was thinking maybe if I just made the cocoa jacket slightly smaller a shorter um, take a little bit off there um, I don't really want to make the sleeves shorter but that said I don't know what I would use this for if I didn't make a cocoa jacket out of it so in a way I might as well make it with slightly shorter sleeves like three quarter length sleeves and then at least I've made it out of it so yeah love this so I'm sorry guys this is not a fabric you can get but it's one of my favorite and from my stash and I've been saving up so yeah I'm excited to see that now I have though chosen a fabric just in case that doesn't work um, which is this one which is another new one that we had in at the show and quite a few of you were buying this and I was getting I was getting fabric envy I was like oh I really want to get some of that so I cut some off for me and we've got some more back um, in the shop anyway so um, you guys can get hold of this as well now and it's just a really lovely soft pink with a kind of blue lily on it I think it's like a blue lily can you see anyway um, really nice and it's a stretch cotton it's actually like a stretch jacquard it's not just a normal stretch cotton but it's kind of got like a jacquard print on it that so there's a floral kind of embossed design on it underneath on the pink and then it's printed on top so it's quite unusual and i did think oh this would be great for some ultimate trousers but a few of you were buying it and saying you're going to make a jacket out of it and so i was like yes i'm going to too as well so if the indian fabric doesn't work then i'm going to use this 
instead and the, hopefully the stretch element won't matter because I'll be lining it anyway um, and if not I shall just keep it in my stash and make another jacket out of it at another time I think actually it'd be quite interesting to see I think this could work for the Chloe coat I know it's got stretch but again if you've got lining in it it'll stop the stretch from being a problem but also you can interface it and I just think it's got the right it has actually got the right kind of drape to it um, so it's kind of and structure so I think it could work for that so you might want to get some for a nice spring Chloe coat so those are my fabrics for March so three makes um, so cocoa jacket kimono and the nursing top um, and yeah all of which I'll be able to continue wearing so it'd be nice to have them in the wardrobe and a mixture of fabric types as well this time I thought it'd be nice to mix it up a bit more for you so you can see some slightly different fabrics this month um, I'm not doing a pattern review just because I don't have time it's too much at the moment so I have got less than so basically the plan is until the end of March I'll carry on going into the shops on my normal days but um, after then in April I'm just probably going to go to Islington because Clapham is already getting quite a difficult journey um, it's just quite a lot of changing on tubes and things for me and um, I get really tired so um, I'm probably not going to go to Clapham maybe I'll go once um, in early April but um, probably not for um, yeah the rest of April and I'm stopping at Easter so although I imagine I will still be on emails a little bit I'm gonna probably like that's when I'm officially stopping so um, I haven't got that long left so I am trying to tie up lots of loose ends and get things um get things ready so that I can properly switch off um, oh I was gonna tell you about this weekend yes yeah, so I had um, the most amazing weekend with my family so what did we do I didn't tell you did I we went to Kew Gardens which was lovely although a lot of the things were closed the big greenhouse one of the bigger greenhouses summer houses was closed and the um, pagoda was also closed you couldn't get to it which is a bit annoying um, but it was still very nice and um, then in the evening we went out to a really nice fancy restaurant in Hackney which was nice and then on the Saturday, um, we went, my sister had a Charlotte Tilbury makeover, which is something that I've done before and absolutely loved. And she was like, I really want to do that. So I, as a surprise, I booked that for her and she absolutely loved it. And she looked so gorgeous. The makeup looked really good on her. So then she also got to have a makeover for the rest of the day. And then mum, me and my sister went to Fortnum and Mason's for afternoon tea, which was so nice. And I literally ate my own body weight in cake. So good, really yummy. And they let you take bits home. So they gave us these lovely little boxes to take things that we didn't manage to finish home in. And you also got to take the, um, the jam and the lemon curd. And the lemon curd was so good. Oh, amazing, yum, yum, yum. So I've still got some of that to work through, which I'm very happy about. And then in the evening, dad joined us. Um, so he was doing other things with friends um, and watching the rugby, which is what he wanted to do instead of go for afternoon tea. And he joined us and we went to Ronnie Scott's, which was a place my dad used to love going to when he was a lot younger. Um, and he hadn't been since, I think. So um, yeah, we bought tickets to this amazing, um, it was like a saxophone group, which I've never seen before, where like they all play together. And they were doing, it was Charlie Parker. So it was a London saxophone company or group or something. And they were doing a big thing of kind of um, lots of, um, I can't get this out, what do I mean? And they were doing a, uh, it was a Charlie Parker night. So it was all of Charlie Parker's music. And it was just the most incredible music. They, like, I've never seen such talented musicians. I was just like, we were all like, Oh my goodness, their fingers were just going so fast. So yeah, it was really, really lovely, but it was also very full on because I was out certainly on Saturday all day and in, into the evening and then also out on Friday night. And at the moment, I tend not to go out two nights in a row. Um, so yesterday, um, I'm filming this on Monday, but um, yesterday on Sunday, I just was exhausted. And um, apart from a, a trip to mother care, I didn't really do anything. I just chilled out 
and recovered really. So um, yeah, it was a lovely weekend, made lots of lovely family memories. So I'm really, really glad that we, that we did that. And now the weather is starting to turn as well. So things are just feeling a little bit springy. Um, so yeah, it's a really lovely time of year this, well, especially when it's sunny like this, because then you're like, summer is gonna come. I'm sure we'll have lots of wintry days again, but summer is coming um, and rather spring is coming even sooner. I also wanted to show you this guys, which very kindly Claire from um, Beautiful Things has sent me. Um, so she basically, she sent me my um, beginner starter pack for an online crochet class that she does. I'll put the link to it below. But she's also now sent me the intermediate she came to see me at the knit and stitch show um, and she was asking how my crochet was going and I said it's going very well but very slowly but I want to do granny squares and after I finish my bunny which I'm making from the Toft Edwards Menagerie book which is kind of coming along but I'm finding that I'm so tired in the evenings I haven't been doing it so I need to get that going because otherwise it's going to be one of those projects that I've just done for too long and I get bored of so Anyway, she sent me these and also a link to her online class so I can have a go at learning how to do granny squares because I want to make a baby blanket. So um, yeah, I'm excited to learn that and thank you Claire for sending that to me. So that is it for this week guys, um, nothing else to report. Um, what I should also tell you what's on the other channel just so you know I keep forgetting to do that so this week um, is um, how I did a stencil door I've just done a door in our bathroom we've done our bathroom up we've been doing various things up over the past few months which I think you know but we've just done the bathroom downstairs and um, I stenciled the door and it's kind of looking all lovely and Indian-y so um, you can check out how I did that. I'll put a link to it in the comments. And then next week on my other channel, I am going to do a week in the life type vlog. So I've done day in the life type vlogs before, 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 but I'm gonna do a week in the life so that every day this week, basically, I'm gonna film a little bit so you can see what my weeks are like, Monday to Friday, um, and how varied they are, uh, and busy at times as well. So yeah, check those out if you're interested. But for now, I shall leave you and I um, hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Bye.